What is going on everybody? Welcome to part 20 of our Matplotlib tutorial series. In this tutorial what we're going to be talking about is adding this kind of subplot uh, handling to our previous tutorials. So if you're following along linearly, uh, revisit your code from part 18. Otherwise, I'll put a link in the description that will send you to part 18 so you can get the starting code. So that starting code uh, should look like this. Okay. So that's from tutorial number 18. I'm just going to highlight, copy everything, come over here, control A, control V, done. Now, uh, what we're going to go ahead and do is uh, change our axes here. So right now we are doing a subplot to grid. Uh, we just aren't doing the one we want, which is actually going to be a 6 by 1. And let's go ahead and take all this, uh, copy, paste, paste. Actually, let's uh, before we do that, let's uh, let's do so. This will be zero zero, and then what we want to go ahead and do is we're going to say uh, row span equals one, and then col span col span also equals one, and then take this, copy, now paste paste. This start point will be f uh, oops no one, and then this start point will be five. And then what we'll do, this will be a four, and then everything else uh, stays the same. Right. So now this is axis two, this is axis three. So now, uh, where we want to plot price is actually going to be on axis two. So we're going to come down here to where we are plotting this candlestick, and we plot it to axis two. Subsequently, all this other stuff needs to be kind of fixed. Uh, however, really... Uh, well, we've got a lot of stuff we're gonna have to change here, but for now we'll just we'll change this to axes two, and then all of this stuff will also be axes two, 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 um, good enough. Let's render that, see what we're looking at. Cool. So immediately you should see there's uh, quite a few issues. Uh, the first notable issue is that the the chart title is is happening. <laughs> down at the uh, at the bottom here we're gonna fix that uh, our dates are really not showing up very well we've got price over here we need that to be up here and date really should apply to this but it's applying down here so, so we've got a little bit of a mess that's the whole point of carrying on in this tutorial however so closing out of all this the uh, first thing that we want to go ahead and do is um, let's come down to AX2 here uh, good the next thing that I want us to go ahead and do is let's come to let's see AX3. Let's go down to where we're uh, identifying these titles and the labels and all of that. And what we're going to first do is we're going to take uh, the label for X and Y and really uh, the title that kind of needs to be changed to. So really the title needs to be defined. We'll actually get rid of the title for now, I think, and we'll come back to the title part. But for X and Y label, what we're going to go ahead and do, basically what happens is as you're plotting axes, when it comes time to give labels, you have to give the labels at the time of whatever you're editing. So the last thing that we're really adding here is AX3. So when we add a title, for example, that's being added to AX3, when really we want the X label and the Y label to apply, so I'm control X there, cut that, we want that to apply to AX2, like that. Also, so if we want the title to be above AX1, what we'll do is we'll take the title here, cut there, and put that up on AX1, like this, okay? So now let me, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's run that really quick. And so now, yeah, we've got title up at the top, price is down here, date is theoretically down here, but what's happening is the date is so big that we're seeing that the axis three is kind of covering over our date here. And uh, it's causing that, that's the trouble we're, we're having there. Uh, but otherwise, uh, everything else looks like it's uh, being added uh, as we would expect. Now, uh, the other thing that we might want to do is we need to add maybe some data to these top and bottom charts. And then once we add data there, we'll worry about fixing the formatting of basically all this other stuff. So really just wanted to move everything kind of where we want to at least start with on this next tutorial. 
so I think what we'll do is we'll, we'll stop it here and then we'll carry on in the next tutorial with uh, the rest of the situation uh, fixing that we want to do. So any problems up to this point, your graph should look like this, a little dilapidated, but price should be down here. Uh, you should have your label over here, your title at the top, and date and stuff should be applying here, but it's kind of hard to tell. But if date is acting like it's a part of AX2, then you're probably doing well. So anyways, if you're having trouble getting it to at least this point, let me know. Otherwise, stay tuned to the next video, and thanks for watching.